So when I was like uh, 14, 14 years old or something like that, between 12 to 14 or something, I remember that I'd gone on this vacation trip with my family. And because uh, we used to do these vacation resort trip kind of things. And um, and 14 to 16 is that, oh sorry, yeah, 14, 12, 14 is that fucking age where you're, you're too old for like dumb kid shit that, you know, you can still do at the age of 8 or 10 or something and you're still entertained. And you're too young to be entertained by 16 to 18 year old adult hood kind of stuff. So I remember that I was bored out of my fucking mind on this resort, bro. Like, I mean, that was the bane of my existence when I was young. All these stupid fucking vacation resort trips where you couldn't do anything, didn't have a Game Boy, this, that, nothing. But anyways, that's not what this is about. So, both my parents and my sister were doing their own shit somewhere. And I ended up uh, just walking around the resort trying to fucking find some kind of entertainment or something for myself. And uh, I, I walked into this little um, party hall kind of something kind of a thing where there was music and stuff going on in the resort and people were eating and they were dancing and they were just having fun, right? They just had like an event or something going on. So I remember uh, just sitting down by myself and I was observing this couple, um, this husband, wife and kid couple. And the husband, wife would have been maybe 35 or something, 30, 35, between 30, 35, which is like now I'm 34 right now. So had to be this age or something, maybe even younger, who knows, 27 maybe, who knows. Um, and uh, I see, uh, and I think, I think the major reason why I was uh, observing this couple is I think the, the girl was cute. Because even at 14 years old, I think I was probably interested in like, <laughs> if I can try to talk to girls or some shit, probably. But, so I remember that. Now here's something else. Uh, no, I'll tell you that after. So yeah, so I see this couple and I see the kid, right? And the kid's a toddler. He's like two to three years old or something. Um, and I see the husband-wife uh, dancing on the, uh, on the on the dance floor or something. And I see the kids on like a table or like a chair or something. And uh, I think he's trying to get off. And he's trying to come running towards his mother or towards his family. And uh, <clears throat> he tries to come off and he falls. Like he falls straight flat uh, on his face. So uh, if you've been around kids at any point in time in your life, you know exactly, you know, when their brains are trying to compute, uh, oh, something happened in life. And I think it's time for me to boot up and start crying because I'm going to get all the love and affection and everything else um, raining down on me. You know, something happened. <clears throat> so... Uh, so uh, the kids like, you know, you can see his face is, you know, some shit like that. <laughs> He's starting to boot up and shit. And uh, uh, his mother like immediately runs towards him with like, you know, like open arms, like, you know, something like that. Immediately runs towards him to pick him up. I was like, oh my God, oh no, 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 no. And remember the dad, because these, you know, they were dancing, husband and wife were dancing together. So dad goes like, he, go, he goes like this and then he stops her. Like he, he doesn't say a single word, by the way, he does this. He's like, yep, and he stops her. And then, uh, and she's like confused or something. And then he looks at the kid, the baby that's like booting. Uh, and uh, he, he goes to the kid and he goes like with both hands. I don't have both my fingers. So he goes with both fingers and he, he does this, yo. And um, the kid is looking at him and uh, he kind of stops crying in the middle of the thing. And he gets up by himself. And uh, the dad says, oh, wow, beta, aja mere shayr, raja. you know, some shit like that, which means like, uh, come to me, my son, the lion or some shit like that. And then and then uh, he's like very proud of him and happy. And he's like giving him, uh, I was going to say validation, but like uh, he's giving him props to like, you know, lift himself up, pick himself up or something. And then he asks him to like dust him, uh, dust his clothes off or something. And, and then he gives him like a high five. He's like, good job. You know, something like that. He gives him a high five. That was it. That was like, um, so I remember in like that little thing, and I was 14 years old, bro. I don't know. I didn't know anything about life back then, and not, nothing. And even a 14 year old dummy like me back then, kind of understood what an epic moment just happened right there, which is uh, this. Uh, this kid was gonna fall. His mom was gonna run immediately towards him and start cuddling him and molly cuddling him and. Uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, fix his boo-boo and his injuries and kissing his injury and 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 say like, oh, bad floor, bad floor, you know, oh, slippery floor, you know, it's not your fault, you know, shit like that. And the dad uh, immediately stopped that, immediately stopped that. And that and the dad basically goes, uh, uh, I just he tell, he looks at the kid and tells the kid to like get up, you know, get up by yourself. And then he comes towards him and then he dusts, uh, you know, he has him dust himself off. The kid he has him dust himself off. 
and then he gives him like a high five and he gives him like uh, merit for doing the work of getting up by himself. So, I mean, I hope this, you, you can understand what I'm trying to say, but there's like com two completely different ways that this entire situation, this entire uh, scenario could have played out. One is you fell down and, you know, you have someone that's trying to like comfort you and love you and shit like that and be like, it's not your fault. And, you know, this floor slippery and we'll, we're going to go and complain here to this person and that shit and that shit like that. And you're still crying. And the other one is, OK, yo, get the fuck back up, dust yourself off and good job on doing on getting back up again. You know, you get you get uh, validated or something. I don't know what the right, right word would be. You get encouraged for putting the effort in and uh, getting yourself back up again. And I, I'm not making this video just because of that one incident that happened, like, God knows, like 20 years ago or something. This is just something that I've noticed, like, again and again and again, repeatedly, every fucking time. Um, of course, I have my own uh, stories and stuff, and I'll share, like, maybe one or something with you. Um, but this is this is exactly the reason why people keep going on about the single mother households and uh, guys or even kids, even girls, kids that get raised in single mother households and why they don't uh, why they get fucked up emotionally and why they're not like emotionally strong and resilient and shit. <clears throat> and it's a, and the thing is because women just don't seem to understand that thing, their their nature and their loving nature and the caring thing or something is like they will take all pain and suffering away from you. Like all possible pain and suffering that they possibly can, they will take away from their loved ones. Uh, but what they don't realize is that that pain and suffering is it's like, it's, it's uh, here's the best example, the best analogy that I have. If it was possible for my mother to take the muscular soreness and all that shit away and the pain of bodybuilding or something away from me, or even the pain of dieting or some shit away from me, she would do it because she would never want me to go through any kind of pain. Ironically, if she, if she would do it, which is kind of like lifting the weights, how else would you do it? But if she would do it, if she would take that soreness or something away, guess what? I would never build any muscle. So that, that's the that's the thing is like they don't actually realize that it's not just uh, a matter of taking away pain or the kid or someone, whoever it is, your loved one, actually feeling the pain or suffering. What it is, is actually what does that pain and suffering really entail behind it? Like, I mean, you don't need to like break your leg or, you know, I mean, those are big things. And if they happen, they happen. But the, the point is, the, the pain stuff is the stuff that actually builds you, grows you up and makes you more uh, confident in yourself and more resilient, emotionally resilient, right? Um, so here's another example. Let's give my, my own example, I think. Yo, I fucking remember this one. Uh, this has happened so many fucking times, dude. Uh, but I think I remember in... Uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember when this was. But anyway, okay, so I remember a swimming pool one because I remember another one too. But anyways, me and my family used to go swimming. Uh, to this club called French Club in Delhi in India fucking awesome club by the way amazing food and shit but we used to go swimming at this club and um, I remember uh, uh, fuck what was I saying I lost my train of thought <laughs> oh yeah so I used to go swimming at this club I remember I was swimming with my mom in the club and this kid just some random kid when I was older than this kid by the way probably by 2-3 years so this random kid comes running towards uh, like swimming towards me and he's like oh iske paas hai, iske paas hai. he has it he has it uh give it give it some shit like that he, he's saying something like that and i'm like are you sure it's me uh because i know it's not me obviously because i don't never seen this kid in my life before so he's like he has it he has it you know some shit like that because i'm wearing goggles right i'm wearing swimming goggles so people you really i mean if you've never seen someone before and they're wearing swimming, swimming goggles they look like a completely different human being anyways so i'm like are you sure it's me because it's probably not me and i'm joking you know i'm like laughing because i know it's not me so then i but just in that little mean time of taking my fucking swimming goggles off so that the kid can recognize who I am. My mom comes swimming over and she's she's trying to scream at the kid. Hey, who are you? Oh, get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Some shit like that. I'm like, yo, what are you doing to <laughs> First of all, the kid's younger than I am. Secondly, he's probably just confused or some shit. And thirdly, I'm, I'm fixing, I'm resolving the issue by myself. Like, it was like so funny. I remember that one, but I actually remember multiple different ones where... My mother, oh my God, bro. Here's another fucking epic one. This one actually happened like, I don't know, six months ago, a year ago or something. So me and my girl were having like arguments or something. And uh, just we weren't talking to each other for like a little bit. So I remember that, uh, uh, I think my mom called me in the middle of all that and I just mentioned it or something. Oh, okay. Cause she asked, uh, you know, how is she? So I was like, oh yeah, we haven't been speaking for like a little bit, but I think she's okay though. So. Um, so she's like, oh, okay, no worries, you know, give it a little bit and then call her after that and then do this and then do that. And I'm like, yeah, ma, it's, it's okay, I got it. It's like, just chill, just, chill, just relax. Um, so then she suddenly realized because 
I've discussed this stuff with her before. It's like, yo, you gotta stop trying to like fix my problems and you gotta stop trying to give me solutions and advice or something until I ask you for them. Don't do that shit. Um, so then she suddenly realizes and then she's like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And then she's like, okay, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> but then, you know, once again, she's trying to like come and fix and help me resolve my love life issues or some shit. So that was another recent one. And uh, here's another one with my girlfriend. Um, so she, her nephews and nieces and stuff are now going to uh, school here in Canada, right? So she's been a little bit scared or something that what if they get bullied? I don't want them to get bullied, you know? What time is it, bro? Because I got to... Okay, I got some time. Okay. So she's like, oh my God, you know, he's going to get bullied and stuff. And I don't want him to get bullied. So if he gets bullied, I'm going to go to his school and, you know, kick this guy's ass or, you know, beat the kids or some shit. Like, I'm not going to let that happen. I was like, and I'm like, well, congratulations. You just fucking disabled your nephew for life. So good job because when he's going to keep falling on his face every single time and fucking failing all the fucking time and never be able to resolve his own issues, you're the one to blame. So I've just, you know, you should, you should be cool with having that on your conscience. So she's like, so she's like, what? Huh? How, what does that mean? How do you mean? Because she, because in her head, she's going like, I love him so much, I'm going to fight his battles for him. And I'm like, yo, if some kid's bullying him at school, and you go and you fight the fucking bully, you solve the problem, but you didn't give your nephew the tools to solve the fucking problem. Like, he's still dependent on you, or her, or him, or somebody else in life. Like, if you want to raise a good kid or a good human being, then you want to raise them to be literally strong independent right so but you're taking the independence away and you're taking the strength away because the strength requires you know the breakdown of whatever muscle or whatever else you know in this case a uh, little bit of confidence or something for it to come back up and get up bro i gotta put my headphones in because okay i'm gonna put my headphones in a second <laughs> but yeah so you're taking the strength away from the kid. How is he going to fucking become strong? And worse, how is he going to become independent? He's going to be dependent on other people. And he's going to be a weak little bitch because you literally took that opportunity of him to break down his muscles and then for them to come back again. You took that away from him. So once I explained that, she was like, oh, okay, so what do I do? You know, so women do that shit too. Oh, so what do you suggest? You know, that emotional, what do you suggest then? So I'm like, okay, so if some kid's bullying him in school, then it, it would help if he knows how to fight, right? So she's like, yeah, but he doesn't know that. I was like, okay, so how about you just fucking pay for his jiu-jitsu classes or his taekwondo classes or karate classes or kickboxing classes or some shit? How about you really care that much about your, your nephew or something? How about you drive your nephew to every single one of those classes? You pay for his membership, you drive him to every single one of those classes. How about you make sure that you're the one that wakes up with the alarm first so that you wake your kid up uh, so that he goes to school, uh, goes to the classes before he goes to school? How about you go to the school with him, you know, fight with him, just support with him? So the point is you got to give someone that you love or care the tools to do something. You, you can't really solve the fucking problems for them and the, and you can't one solving the problems for them is the worst thing ever and secondly just giving emotional support is cool to some extent but but you can't really take the whole thing away from them you got to give them that emotional support or something um, to some extent when they kind of deserve it I don't know how, how else to explain it but like it can't be empty because then otherwise it has no value it has to have some value or something behind it hopefully that makes sense but yeah that's the reason why uh, mothers, just women in general, kind of just don't understand this part. And uh, I don't know what the title of this video is. How mothers fuck their kids up or some shit. I don't know what the title of the video is going to be. All right. Anyways, besides that, if, uh, I have a new Discord and shit. If you guys haven't checked it out, hop onto the Discord. If you guys are looking for coaching, calendar link is in the, in the description box below. Besides that, help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe. And I shall see you all next time.